wheelies yung pagtaas ng so it's got good brakes <laughs> it's got good brakes at least when you're using this bike a bike that's designed to do wheelies a bike that's designed to skid I mean, dun din sa yung bike eh. So, komportable siyang ginagawa yun. Meron siyang mga technology na tutulungan ka gawin yun in a safe manner. Hindi mo kinakailangan i-ring. Tignan mo, ang galing oh. Jesus Christ. Anyway, hindi mo kailangan ipwersa yung makina para gawin yung mga gusto mong gawing bagay. Bale, may ability na talaga siyang gawin yun. Kung hunting piga mo lang, aangat na yung gulong. When it comes to the skids, yung mga drifts, meron siya electronics na pinapayagan yun. Tapos uh, ABS din, napapatay yung ABS niya sa likod para pwede ka mag-skid-skid -skid sa likod. Meron din siya mga malalakas na preno para kung sakaling maalanganin ka, ay kaya mong isave or pwede kang makapigil agad. Ang hirap kasi pagka gumagawa ka ng kakamotehan, tapos wala kang proper equipment, eh pwede kang makadisgrasya, hindi lang ng sarili mo. So, pakita natin yun sa inyo ang acceleration. Bagal sila. Bagal sila. So, just like that. Sa Manu ka na tayo. Checkpoint na. Let's go, baby! Marilaki on the Ducati Hypermotard RVE. What can I say about the bike? I've had it for about. I got it yesterday afternoon. It was raining. I had it in urban mode. And uh, as serious as it is a bike, the electronics work very well to keep you safe in the rain. It allows for slip and fun moments, but will catch you. This is known by the world as the Hoonigan bike. Hoonigan being reckless or kamote bike. So, <laughs> if you're a very high-end kamote, this is a bike specially designed for you. It's designed to do wheelies. Wheelies, yung pagtaas ng... So it's got good brakes. <laughs> it's got good brakes. So it sometimes misshifts shifts into neutral if you don't kick it up hard enough. So I guess that's what I could say about the gearbox feel 
So you have to kick it up really. It likes being shifted at high RPM, especially using the quick shifter. Quanting background nga no, what is the hyper motard? Ano significant sa itong model na to? Anong sino ang target nitong model na to? Ducati na to. Number one, I would say, is yung mga, well, sabi nila sa states, <laughs> is yung mga hooligan, mga people that like doing stunts, mga ton tricks. So wheelies, uh, skids, drifting. So marami siyang power para gawin yun, no? Kasi siyempre, pag gagawin mo yung mga drift, wheelie, skid, di ba? Kailangan meron kang mga pesa na masabi nating ang angkop para sa gagawin mo. I guess yun rin, no? malaking bagay yung... Gagawin mo yung mga stunts, gagawin mo yung mga tricks. Siyempre, kasama yun sa pagkakamot eh, yung hindi mo ginagamit yung tamang mga tools para doon. No? Hindi mo ginagamit yung tamang bike, ginagawa mo ba naman sa small bike yung yung mga tricks syempre that's additional level of pagkakamate no like at least when you're using this bike a bike that's designed to do wheelies a bike that's designed to skid I mean dun dinesen yung bike eh so comfortable siyang ginagawa yun meron siyang mga technology na tutulungan ka gawin yun in a safe manner hindi mo kinakailangan i-ring tingin mo ang galing oh Jesus Christ Anyway, hindi mo kailangan ipwersa yung makina para gawin yung mga gusto mong gawing bagay. Bale, may ability na talaga siyang gawin yun. Kunting piga mo lang, angat na yung gulong. When it comes to the skids, si mga drifts, meron siya electronics na pinapayagan yun. Tapos, uh, ABS din, napapatay yung ABS niya sa likod para pwede ka mag-skid-skid sa likod. Meron din siya mga malalakas na preno para kung sakaling maalanganin ka ay kaya mong i-save or pwede kang makapigil agad. Ang hirap kasi pagka gumagawa ka ng kakamotehan tapos wala kang proper equipment eh pwede kang makadisgrasya hindi lang ng sarili mo. No? So pakita natin yun sa inyo yung acceleration. So yun yung acceleration niya first gear, second gear. So, mabilis siya. Mabilis siya. So, kung ang tricks mo ay maging mabilis, kayang-kaya niya to. Kasi yun ang hirap pagka umakato ka, tapos naka low CC bike ka. Tagal eh, bago mo umabot sa isang daan. Di ba? Ang daming nangyayari. Kung sabihin natin, mabilis na yung motor mo na low CC kung naka isang daan siya in under 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, tol, maraming nangyayari dyan sa 10 seconds na yan. Inihintay mo yun eh. Inip ka habang ginagawa mo yung 100. Dito, sa capable na bike. Hindi ka naiinip, man. So, pag-as muna tayo sa XS, uh, sa XS. Pag-as muna tayo sa Petron, sa ating favorite na gas station. Titignan natin kung ano yung consumption natin sa ating pag-ride kahapon. XS. Uh, full tank natin. So, uh, final tank ko to kahapon. Nabot ako 700. So, yan. Simula na ang bilang ng aking gastos. So, hindi naman natin masyado tinakbo kahapon, no? Ang takbulan natin kahapon was from the gas station was in Bandia. We went to Magallanes Shell to look for an RFID. Then we went to BGC. And then we went to Makati. Then Taguig. Makati then QC. So that's around at most 70 kilometers. No? Baka hindi pa, baka 60 kilometers lang. Oops, and there we go. Ayan, that's good. So fill to the brim. 352, 6.7 liters. Okay, so um, I have the odometer reading in a previous video. So, tsaka na natin yung compute pagka nag edit na tayo. So, there we go. 700 from gas light to full tank. So, people know of that guys. 3,163. But I was able to put in 6.749 liters into the tank. Medyo madaya kasi tinawid ko siya in my process but the total kilometer edge now is 3,251 okay so take note of that 3,251 thank you yun meron na tayong mga kasabay mga Thursday boys sa Isle of Manukan kung tawagin again 3,251 kilometers on the full tank we'll know na yung consumption natin around the city 
riding with a friend no na medyo mabilis rin naman Ninja 650 Catrice What time kaya kaya? 5.30 So um, you got people to go with. I'd rather be riding with people than not. Kawasaki Z900, MV Agusta, F3 800. This Chad's Ducati Scrambler, NK400, Ninja 600. Another Scrambler, CV750, Royal Enfield Meteor. Over at the back, it's an R1250 on the Rebel 1000. S1000 X. What's up, guys? So apparently, we're gonna start now. It's called Saddle Up. We're gonna start So it's nice and noisy. There's another hyper mode art, but it's an Aprilia. So um, that's gonna be fun to try and chase. I think there's a chill ride. So let's go. We're following the Honda CB750. That was good. That was nice and fast. So, tama yung antilag. Dito lang yun sa Pilipinas. Truck na may antilag. Two-step. So it's go daddy time once again this time onto the segment where it gets fun so we got shot there
that shadow in front of us, fella. I haven't passed this pass in a long time. There's this and follow downhill. Let's go time. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. What's up, bro? Sorry. 
there's a bit of dust, you see down. Don't fixate on the motorbike ahead of you. You should always look at where you're going, where you're exiting the corner. Just like that, sa manu ka na tayo. Checkpoint na. Let's go, baby.
bergerak. Sakit. Di perang sakit. Hey, thank you. Thank you.